Well, for more, we're joined from Istanbul by DW correspondent Dorian Jones. So, Dorian, the Turkish foreign minister saying uh, he's vowing retaliation against the U.S. tariffs. Um, what's likely to follow from a move like this? Well, Turkey can do very little economically to retaliate against the United States, but it can hurt Washington strategically. There are U.S. forces working with a Syrian Kurdish militia just across the Turkish border. Turkey considers that militia a terrorist organization, so it could ramp up pressure on that militia and the U.S. forces there. On top of that, Washington has been pushing uh, lobbying Ankara very hard to comply with its new Iranian sanctions. Ankara, a major trading partner with Iran, is seen as key to Washington in its success of putting pressure on Iran. For now, Ankara said it will not comply with those sanctions. It's very unlikely in the present environment it will change that stance. Well, Dorian, meanwhile, the Turkish financier has been trying uh, to reassure the public, but the reality is that uh, the currency has been tanking for months. Uh, the country has seen inflation at nearly 16 percent, and now these American tariffs. Um, what's the impact on ordinary Turks? I think for the moment it is complete shock. They've seen their currency literally implode in front of them. Beyond that, I think that there will be concerns that if this route of the currency continues, it could put pressure on Turkish banks. The, today, there is meant to be an emergency meeting between Turkey's uh, supervisory board and Turkey's banks to discuss the cur currency crisis. Uh, but beyond that, there, that's the fact that Turkey imports nearly all of its energy and much of and many other important imports. There will be the expectation of a huge wave of inflation hitting Turkey in the coming weeks and months. On top of that, many big companies have borrowed large amounts of money in foreign currency loans. Future fears about the future of those companies will be increasingly a uh, uh, focus of attention. And with that, the fear of growing unemployment. Tough times ahead for Turkey, whatever happens. Well, tough times ahead, as you say. It's important to mention, though, that the latest U.S. tariffs were imposed uh, specifically in response to Turkey's prolonged attention of, Ameri of an American pastor. Um, would the government consider releasing this man as a way out of its economic crisis? Well, this pastor, Andrew Brunson, has become basically the center of a battle of wills between the Turkish and U.S. presidents. Both men like to betray themselves as strong men, and I think neither will be prepared to back down, even though Erdogan is aware of the incredible costs it's costing his country. But he's presenting this as basically a battle for the future of democracy. He says that this currency route is an attempt to remove him from power, and he's vowed to uh, resist this. With that present rhetoric, it makes it very difficult for him to step back. Reports say the Americans have given Turkey a deadline line of this Wednesday to return Brunson uh, with the expectation of further sanctions if they do not comply. The stakes are very high in the coming days and pressure on the pres Turkish president to back down will grow. All right. Our correspondent Dorian Jones reporting from Istanbul. Thank you.